it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, uh, bringing you another favorite sales of the week. Now, last week on eBay, it was a little bit slow for me, but if you do this for a little while, you'll learn that it's like a roller coaster. It goes up and down, up and down. So some weeks you'll have amazing sales, and other weeks you'll just have some mediocre sales. Um, and lately I've been working on getting rid of some of my old inventory, some of the old listings. I just did a video uh, to show you guys how I am doing that, and I've sold quite a few things. So I'm going to share those items first with you. Um, the profits aren't great, but I'm at least getting my money back and making a little bit of money so I can just turn that around and go buy new inventory. So money in my pocket is better than it's sitting on the shelf. Um, and I'm going to also show you guys some really cool sales I had last week. So the first thing that I sold that was in the old inventory, this is a vintage Tommy Traveler leather tie holder. It also had little slots to put the collar stays, which go underneath of the points on the dress shirts. Um, I bought this last summer, so it's been over six months, um, for only $2 at a church thrift store or like a yard sale. Um, and I just sold that for $19.99, so that was great. It was the full price. They didn't even do an offer on it, so that was, that was great to get rid of that. This next item here is a new, with tags, Woolrich green vest. It had fur around the neck. So I thought it was really neat when it caught my eye at that time. <laughs> Apparently someone else didn't think it was neat. But I just did the new trick uh, that you have to watch the other video about. Um, I did pay $5 for that, and I bought that back in 2016. So I was happy to get rid of that, and as you see here, it sold for $15. So that was pretty good. Um, the next old inventory item I had is this Quaker Factory um, it had beach embroidered scenes on it, so I thought that would sell really well when I bought it. Um, I've heard with Quaker Factory, the, the stranger or the more ornate that it is, the better it sells. Um, but for this one, I only paid $2.38, but I've had that since May of 2016, <laughs> so I was happy to get rid of this one. Um, and I sold it for $14, so I probably got close to breaking even on that one. Um, the next item here that I've had for a little while is a Ralph Lauren polo jeans, it looks like, and it was a yellow long sleeve thermal type shirt. Um, it didn't have a size tag in it, so I had to put the measurements. I put measurements in all of my clothing items anyhow, but uh, it sat there for a really long time. I've had that one since I only paid a dollar for it. 2015 I've had that item so for only a dollar though I let it sit there for a little while and I just sold it for ten dollars so I made some money Mommy. in my pocket yes sweetheart you want to say hi 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 okay go play thank you all right so what's some other old items I have here okay this item here is interesting this is a Lily Pulitzer it's just a basic um, sweater tank top undershirt type thing um, and I had some really old dated pictures on this I bought Mommy. this back Hi, sweetheart. Hold on a second. Um, I bought this for $1.99 in 2015, and it's been sitting at the bottom of my shelf. And I got a message from the buyer asking what the real color was because my pictures were terrible. So I retook these pictures so it was a little bit better. And then within 24 hours, that person that had asked me the question bought it. Um, so it pays to take new pictures. And also, check out that other video. You'll learn that tip. So I sold that for $8. So for a basic little tee, that was a, a pretty good win. Especially to only pay $1.99 for it. Um, another old item I have here, this one's a neat one. These are Converse All Stars, but what they look like is somebody hand painted them. So they were unique. So I knew I'd sit on them for a little while until I found that right buyer. Um, but this one I paid $6.27 and I bought these last summer. So not too terribly long, but long enough. <laughs> and I sold these full price for $39.99. So sometimes it's worth the wait. So don't get rid of your old inventory right away if it hasn't sold. So let it sit there for a little bit. Okay, the next item I have here are Skecher Go Walks. Skechers sell really well for me, especially these Go Walks. Um, the other ones that sell well for me are Shape Ups. Um, I wear the Skecher Go Walks myself, so I love them, um, but they're pretty good sellers. Um, these I paid $4.47 for, and I've had them since last May, 2017, and I sold them for $13. So I was just happy to get rid of those because I've almost had them for a year. All right, on to some new fun finds that I've had. Um, this next item is an Under Armour gray and blue polo short sleeve, just regular polo shirt. And it, Under Armour always sells well for me. Um, this one I paid $4.87, and this is one of my more recent finds. Um, and I sold that for $22.99, so that was a really nice flip. 
Um, the next item I have on my list here is a Ralph Lauren. This is the golf line that they have. Um, what I liked about it is it had PGA embroidered on the side. So I thought maybe that was a little more desirable because it's like an orange and cream colored striped shirt. But it's a really soft cotton. It was really nice. Um, for that, let's see. I only paid $3.59 and that was a recent buy. And I sold it for $16. So that was good. Um, another item that I sold here is another Under Armour shirt, and I've had this for a few months, but not too long. Um, but it was nice because it had the NFL Combine compression type. It had a lot of watchers on it. <laughs> it must have been desirable. Um, but for this, I only paid, let's see here, $5, and I sold that for $20. So that was great. Uh, this next item is another Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Uh, the reason I bought this shirt is because it's an ash and it's a heavier polo shirt, so I thought this would sell a little bit better. Um, this one I paid a dollar. Don't know where I got that for a dollar, um, but I sold that for $24.99, so that was really nice. This other item here, you might have seen in a recent video of mine. This was a Vera Bradley wallet. Um, I bought this on a 50% off day at a local thrift store. It has a turnkey lock on it, so that's what made it unique to me. Sometimes the Vera Bradley things will sell if they're unique items. Yeah. Um, this one I only paid $3.50 for, and I sold it for $22.99. Yeah. So that was a really nice find, I thought. What's an even nicer find is this last item that I wanted to show you that I was really excited about. Sold this in the middle of the night. It's nothing like being woken up in the middle of the night to a cha-ching noise on your eBay app. <laughs> it's a nice way to wake up, actually. Um, this bag I just showed in one of my recent videos as well. This is a brand called Tumi, T-U-M-I. Um, I learned about this brand a few years ago when I bought a backpack. I had never heard of it. it just looked nice nice quality it even had initials on it <laughs> and I ended up selling that backpack a few years ago for hundred and fifty dollars so or it might have been 175 I can't remember either way it was a really good profit <laughs> now that I'm saying it so I bought this bag the other day it's a little toiletry bag um, and I only paid I actually paid a little bit more than I normally would it's eight dollars is what I paid for the small bag yeah. but I sold it for $64.99 $64.99 for a little men's toiletry bag. So don't overlook the little tiny things in your stores either. So what are some great finds that you guys had? Comment below or if you have questions on some of the items that I purchased or any of the brands, let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm trying to come out with weekly favorite find videos. Um, until next time, happy thrifting, guys.